Eden Lifestyle, transforming lives. Sometime in the past, or maybe even right now, you may have experienced a fever and are wondering, what can I do to reduce it naturally? Unlike your regular Tylenol or Ibuprofen, I'll be showing you a simple remedy to reduce fevers that is non-invasive. When you stay till the end, you will learn how to reduce fevers simply with an onion. I'm Ezra Sages from Eden Lifestyle, and if you haven't subscribed to our channel as yet, you want to do so right now by clicking the link or the subscribe button below so you can stay updated with more videos like this. Many people think fevers are the bad guys. In fact, fevers turn on the body's immune system to help protect it against any virus or infection we may have been infected with, such as the common cold, corona, or any other respiratory infections. Now we recognize it's in fact a good guy, do note that a fever that is too high can impact us negatively. Before we give you this remedy, I want to know from you, what is a fever? A fever technically is any body temperature that is above normal 98.6 Fahrenheit or 37 Celsius. In practice, a person is usually not considered to have a significant fever until the temperature is about 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit. A more concerning fever will be over 104 degrees Fahrenheit or about that range. Now the most common symptoms of fever include things like headache, maybe a warm forehead, chills, aching muscles, a general feeling of weakness, sore eyes, loss of appetite, dehydration, or even swollen lymph nodes. I remember not too long ago uh, that my sister was also experiencing a very high fever that even went up to about 104 degrees Fahrenheit. I quickly fo followed the steps that I'll be sharing with you and applied the onion also uh, to her feet while she was laying down immobile, intensely sick. After a few minutes of this application of this onion rub, she was able to experience her fever lowering below 100 degrees Fahrenheit, then soon after back to regular body temperature. It's simple, but effective. So let's get started. To begin, go to your kitchen, your nearby food market or your backyard garden and grab yourself a good old onion. Besides making you cry, onions are also antibiotic, it's anti-inflammatory, it's antimicrobial, it's anti-rheumatic, anti-sclerotic, antiseptic, anti-spasmodic. I think you get the point now, it's anti almost everything except life. Now seriously, Onions are one of the richest sources of dietary flavonoids, which may decrease your risk of cancer and also inflammatory diseases. Onions are also a great source of even vitamin C, a vitamin that plays a very important role in your immune function. Additionally, it is also assist in lowering heart disease risk, reducing high blood pressure, and also protecting against blood clots. Now, I know you're excited right now of going into your kitchen and cooking up some nice onion for lunch or maybe making an onion tea, but don't eat that onion just yet. Now, to reduce fevers or to bring the body back to a normal body temperature, you want to simply begin by cutting your onion in half with wise. And if you have used onion as a natural remedy before, what I want you to do is hit the like button, comment below, and let me know what have you used it for. I'm excited to hear what you have to say actually. Then when you cut it, the next step is simply to begin pricking the onion with a knife or even scraping it with a fork to get the juices to flow. And as an option, you can warm it up also for a few seconds in the oven as well, up to a minute in fact. It is a well-known fact that onion is a rich source of organosulfur compounds. Organosulfur compounds like quercetin and allicin are associated with the inhibition of viral infection. You have just activated basically these powerful compounds by scraping this onion. While we are doing this here, do note that there are also other uses of an onion rub. 
For example, rubbing the onion around the loins area helps to promote urine elimination even by up to 25%. This rub also helps sciatica by rubbing it in the lower back area to the thigh and the leg or the painful area and is a great remedy for respiratory problems as well by rubbing it over the chest area. Now, rub the onion under each feet basically for about two to five minutes and place the onion with the flat side under your feet with your sock pulled over. Or you can simply chop up the onion and place it within your socks under your feet as well. Onions are rich in sulfuric compounds which give them their pungent odor. Traditionally known, when placed under the feet, these compounds infiltrate the body, then they kill bacteria and viruses and purify your blood. Great, we're done here. Finally, you leave this on overnight for about eight hours or for four to six hours during the day before changing it. You may want to consider also protecting your bed. This remedy produces a good deal of moisture and is also highly diuretic. In many cases, within a few minutes, hours, or even three days, the illness should even pass based upon the type of fever and your body's ability to uh, fight off things like viruses and infections. It's so simple that anyone could do it. I'd love you to leave a comment below if you have tried this remedy before, telling us how it worked for you and if not, what are some remedies that you have tried to lower fevers naturally? And as a bonus, click the link in the description box below to get your free remedy guide along with other bonus remedies to lower fevers naturally. If you haven't subscribed to this channel as yet, do so by clicking the subscribe button below to stay updated with more videos like this.